Welcome to Under the Lens. Come and enjoy an extraordinary, raw, and unfiltered podcast that delivers debate, discussions, and interviews about film, pop culture, and everything in between. Here is your host, film critic and journalist, Byron Lafayette. Recently, I had the pleasure of sitting down with artist, film illustrator, and director Mauro Borelli. Borelli has worked on almost every major franchise in Hollywood, including Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars, and Marvel. And he has worked with some of the biggest and brightest filmmakers of all time. I sat down with Mauro Borelli to discuss his newest picture, Mind Cage, a psychological thriller starring Martin Lawrence, John Malkovich, and Melissa Roxburgh. We talk about his process for directing, how his background as an artist has helped him, and how art inspired this newest film. I hope you enjoy this interview with Mind Cage director Mauro Borelli. Uh, So thanks uh, so much for uh, taking a few minutes to chat with me today about your new film. Thank you. Thank Uh, you for having me. Yeah, uh, definitely very, very excited to uh, to ask you some of my questions because uh, I think this is a very, very fascinating uh, topic that this film is is tackling, and just you know, uh, the talent involved and everything. So you know, I'll jump right in. Um, you know, my my first question is kind of like, what was the the genesis of this like project? Like, how did it come together for you to work on it and all of that? Well, genesis is um, based on the desire of making something that combine my fine art background mm-hmm. with uh, a commercial or more detective uh, uh, film, the very popular genre. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I like detective story. I like mm-hmm. Seven. I like uh, even the Hitchcock films, you know, film noirs. Mm-hmm. But I was like, but, you know, say, how can I be myself um, mm-hmm. in a movie that more like, uh, um, like, like a detective story, right? So, and I said, well, I have to bring some fine art and some painting in there uh-huh. you know? so we start thinking about what are the elements that i like to talk about mm-hmm. and i thought like a fine art a, a supernatural mm-hmm. and uh, and a detective mm-hmm. and then i say okay so what if isn't the first of all the our bad guy is mm-hmm. the painter you know mm-hmm. that's how it started mm-hmm. so with the reiji kiyohara we start kind of uh, having a talk about putting together a story it went through many different layers mm-hmm. uh, and then um and then we come out with this you know uh yeah uh, that's amazing because yeah, I, I i couldn't help notice you know when i was uh when i was looking you up you know that you know you have you know a background you know as an illustrator an artist you've worked on some of the biggest franchises in the world you know parts of the caribbean star wars all that um some of my favorite ones uh you know and some of the the biggest you know directors in the world too and you know and i couldn't help but think you know you being an artist you know you having you know that that talent and that sensibility you know and then you know directing this film that art is at the forefront of it, you know, um, and, you know, and I wondered, you know, did being an artist, you know, yourself, did that kind of influence how you directed this film in a way? Like, did you have a certain vision that you were aiming to get that, that, that another director probably wouldn't have been able to, uh, to tackle? Yeah, I think that influence come from the method of uh, approach. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, when you do classical um, academic painting, right mm-hmm. the first approach that you have is composition mm-hmm. and you have the sense of light and darkness and you have a, you proceed with a, an academic way imagine like a, a ballet dancer that does hip hop right mm-hmm. so they always have that classic academic uh, way of approaching the thing mm-hmm. so my approach even in films is always um, based on art mm-hmm. and my education in art mm-hmm. how i start with the sketch like for example do you start with a detail Mm-hmm. and you expand mm-hmm. or you start with the sketch that give the overall thing and then you go and do a refine mm-hmm. for example mm-hmm. but my is more about i started with a sketch and then i refine because that's my education so on a film i start to look at the scene mm-hmm. as a, a generic uh, things mm-hmm. and then i start to move things inside and usually i use the same uh, parameters mm-hmm. of composition mm-hmm. uh, and, and and an actor performance also reflect composition mm. it, it's strange to, to uh, interesting uh-huh. there, is, there is something in the timing 
mm-hmm. the match composition, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and and so that's 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 usually my approach. And and if I doesn't feel you know, I, I, I had experience to work with the directors um, where they come from a pop culture mm-hmm. and, uh, and their choice are based on whatever they learn from uh, maybe a magazine or whatever is hot, whatever is cool. So they have a photographic memory of cool things and they put together uh, based on their choice are made based on their pop culture or what they see that it was uh, hot at the moment, but mm-hmm. they don't know why. Mm-hmm. I know more why because uh-huh. based on the academic structure. Mm-hmm. So I know if something works is mm-hmm. because it fit into that composition. Is aura composition? Is a gold composition? Is a, so that's a, that's a my 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 approach. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, you know, and uh, you know, one one thing that uh, that I did notice as well is that you know, um, you know, generally, you know, with art itself, you know, it's 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 a it's to create, it's to build up, you know. Um, and with the villain of the film, the artist, obviously, you know, he's kind of perverting art to tear down and destroy. Um, and so I was wondering if you could maybe elaborate on that a little bit as an artist yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I thought it was interesting that uh, even even a crazy uh, serial killer mm-hmm. uh, may have uh, his own motivation mm-hmm. that he tried to justify his action. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't mean I justify, but mm-hmm. he does, and I want to know why he does. Mm-hmm. And I thought, and I thought that his uh, desire for learning how to paint when he was a kid, mm-hmm. he was aiming to duplicate religious painting. Mm-hmm. Because that's what I did when I was a kid. I was like a painter, and mm-hmm. I was going in a church and on a museum copying. And many, many times, all the great masters. If you look at Rafael Caravaggio. All the iconography of their painting is a religious base. Mm-hmm. So he approached that to learn how to paint. Mm-hmm. But actually the religion goes in his head. No. <laughs> you know, and become and because his situation as a kid, mm-hmm. it start to find to start to tell him things in his head. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like if the painting starts to talk to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Oh yeah, I like that. You know, and you know the uh, the the talent you know that was assembled for this film was fantastic too. You know, have 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 uh, a really great leads. You know, obviously you know John Malkovich, Martin Lawrence, you know uh, Melissa Roxburgh, just fantastic. Um, you know what was a uh, you know what was it like you know uh, uh, directing you know because this is you know one of Martin Lawrence's you know first forays into dramatic you know acting you know versus versus comedy. Um, you know, did you find that there was a uh, you know like kind of a different approach? Approach to your directing of directing someone who came from that genre going into more of like a as you mentioned kind of a supernatural serious you know detective story yeah um uh, martin um first of all was very motivated in doing it mm-hmm. something different and challenging mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that put him put me and him right away on it because i i like to challenge myself so mm-hmm. we're like a, Okay, here we there's a common ground here. It's very important because if, if, if the actor doesn't is not willing to be humble mm-hmm. and, and and especially you know a celebrity like that that being mm-hmm. you know, like a, a celebrate you know like mm-hmm. he has to try something different. He put himself at risk, and mm-hmm. I remember the first. Uh, um, um consideration that was brought to me and say oh, you know what maybe we're going to do martin lawrence and we're going to create a new look so people never saw him like this mm. he's serious and he's going to have a big beer <laughs> and i say no i think i think that would be a, a, a weakness mm. i say we have to show martin the way his fans know mm. and he's going to be his acting to make the difference mm. because if we try to patch him up Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we're saying basically, yeah, it's like, a, you know, no, I want to see Martin that, that we saw before. Mm-hmm. Now we see, now his talent can flow and uh, uh, and prove that he's, you know, showing that he's, you know, he, he can do anything he wants. Mm-hmm. And, and so, yeah, so he obviously, obviously is very professional. Mm-hmm. So he always can prepare mm-hmm. on, on on a scene, you know, he knows his line, he knows his things, he did his work. Mm-hmm. So uh, this, this movie didn't have any problem with the cast, mm-hmm. you know, where you slow down because the cast maybe 
the morning they're not mm. the right frame of mind. <laughs> maybe they didn't have time to learn the you know we have like uh, martin and, and melissa uh, performing five pages of dialogue mm -hmm. wow without missing a word you know like uh, mm -hmm. they, they were you know those are the other people you know it's like mm -hmm. the, oh uh, yeah mm -hmm. and, and uh, martin i was trying to figure it out what was the best angle mm -hmm. what, what what could have what can i suggest to martin mm -hmm. I'm the character, and I thought that the best way was for him to be a mistreated uh, uh, per somebody that has a problem that is being uh, misunderstood hmm. and almost like beaten up, you know, like hmm. somebody that come with a, with a pain and a suffering. So, and I think that combined with his look. Hmm make his sympathetic, create empathy because mm -hmm. he's feeling like, you know, like uh, there's some sadness in him. Mm -hmm. you know? wow. mm -hmm. Well, it's fantastic. Well, you know, I, like I said, I really appreciate you, you uh, taking the time, you know, I think you, you crafted a, a great film, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, you put together just, you know, a great story for people and uh, I really appreciate him. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, thank you.